If you have a sweet tooth like me, a brownie sundae is pretty much the perfect food. But I have an even better idea, a brownie sundae ice cream cake. It starts with brownies, of course, baked in a nine by 13 pan. Just lift it right out. And we're gonna make this fit into a standard loaf pan. Line the loaf pan with plastic wrap, and that's gonna make the cake easier to get out after it's frozen. So start by measuring the bottom of the pan, and it's three and a half inches. So I know that my first piece of brownie has to be three and a half inches wide. So there, I'm just gonna mark it. And then you'll wanna measure again about halfway up the pan. Oh, right at four inches. So the next piece is gonna be four inches in width. And then our last piece should be just about four and a half inches to fit into the top. And it is. For the building, start with the narrowest piece of brownie. And that's gonna go into the bottom of the loaf pan You'll see that it fits perfectly right in the bottom. Now for the next layer of flavor, peanut butter. This is crunchy peanut butter, half a cup, evenly distribute on top of the brownie. Use an offset spatula just to spread the peanut butter to the edges. Next, vanilla ice cream, and I need a cup and a quarter of this. This is a pint, so I need a little more than half. And I think we're ready for our second brownie layer. This is our four inch wide piece. For this layer, raspberries and strawberry ice cream. Just mash the raspberries a little bit with a fork. Okay, and you can just kind of spread that about. And one more layer of ice cream. This one, strawberry, about one and a half cups for this layer because our pan is a little bit wider now toward the top. Take your time here so that you have an impressive presentation when you unmold and slice it. And now we just need that last layer of brownie. This will actually become the bottom, so it doesn't even matter that it's cracked and then take your excess plastic wrap and flip it up over the cake and into the freezer it goes until it's nice and firm at least six hours. I'm gonna do some candied peanuts. That's half a cup of sugar, two tablespoons of water. You want the sugar to dissolve completely into the water. Start over a moderate flame and then once our sugar is melted, we can crank the heat and really get it to a boil. This needs to come to about 235 degrees on a candy thermometer. We're starting to come to a boil here. Now this sugar mixture will not take any color at 235 degrees, so you'll wanna check it while it's still clear. Earlier rather than later is, is best. 235, all right, we're there, we have arrived. That was fast. Into this goes half a teaspoon of coarse salt and the peanuts. This is one and a half cups of roasted salted peanuts right in. It'll take about one minute. See how it's looking sandy now? That's what we're looking for. And in just a few more minutes, the sugar will melt again and caramelize and turn golden around the peanuts. And that's when you have a properly sugared peanut. The sugar is melting again on the bottom of the pan and it's starting to just get the faintest bit of amber color. Line a rimmed baking sheet with parchment paper and that'll ensure that it doesn't stick to anything. And they can go right out onto the tray and then just spread this very quickly into a single layer while it's nice and hot. Now it's time for the big reveal. This is actually the bottom. There we go. And lift the plastic right off. And just before we slice it and serve it, whipped cream. This is half a cup of cream that I've whipped to soft peaks with two tablespoons of confectioner sugar. I think that looks pretty good. And some of the candied peanuts. You can just break these up into little bits, sprinkle them right on top. And then of course we have lots more of these peanuts that we can serve on the plate for garnish. And with your knife, go straight down. Oh yeah, see all those beautiful layers there? And for the top, more of the sugared peanuts. And it wouldn't be a real sundae without a cherry on top. And there you have it, a beautiful and so delicious brownie sundae ice cream cake, perfect for any celebration. Happy eating.